Hello, this is Rafael Grossman. Uh, I am a surgeon and uh, also a healthcare futurist, uh, they call me. Uh, I think just an innovator or just a geek who likes to uh, explore how technology, if used in a smart way, can make healthcare better, can make medical education, learning and teaching better than what it is right now. I think that uh, with all the tools that we have available today in the year 2020, in the 21st century, it is really uh, almost shameful that uh, education is in the state uh, that it is and also that uh, healthcare is in the state uh, as it is. Uh, in the world uh, of all seven plus billion people, uh, we know that about five billion of those don't have access uh, to safe or affordable surgery. This is by a uh, uh, basically a study of the Lancet uh, from almost uh, five years ago now. I think that that is uh, really regrettable. I think that uh, for healthcare, uh, most of the healthcare that we take for granted in, 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 in more advanced uh, countries uh, is really not even uh, uh, dreamed of in most of the world and that is a shame because healthcare is a human right and we need to treat it as such. Uh, I want to talk to you about some tools that I think can really improve the way we gain and give access to better uh, global health and uh, also tools that can improve how we connect, how we communicate, how we teach, how we learn, how to improve healthcare with devices like this, for example. This is the View 6 Blade. It's a, one of the a, a few uh, a, a editions, I guess, of View 6. It's really a, a not just a pair of glasses, right? It looks like a, just a pair of sunglasses almost, but this is a, a high power computer in a way. This device can connect me uh, with the uh, digital world, uh, with all human knowledge. Uh, the cameras in there can really help me bring someone virtually to what I'm doing, someone who might uh, be able to help me in a particular uh, problem or uh, uh, learn from me. Uh, I could connect a relative, someone's uh, dying in an ICU bed with COVID-19 and the family is away and uh, isolated from the actual patient. You can bring the way of the camera, you can do, uh, imagine a Zoom call, uh, you know, with these uh, smart glasses and then you can bring that relative uh, to share uh, some time uh, with their loved one. Uh, imagine uh, teaching someone a procedure and guiding them through surgery with this type of device. Imagine accessing the medical record, you know. When I round on the floors, I go from bed to bed, from uh, room to room, uh, carrying a piece of paper with all written data in it, or I could have a tablet or a laptop or a computer on, on wheels, but you know, this is better. This is a computer. This is spatial computing. I can do any computing I want by looking at the augmented reality digital projections. I could have the EMR with the specific pieces of data that help me make better decisions treating that patient. Uh, so the possibilities are really only limited by our creativity. I'm really, really glad to be able to share with you some of my passion, some of my insights, some of my experiences, and uh, please connect with me at uh, rafaelgrossman.com or rafaelgrossman.health or in Twitter at uh, ZGJR, and I uh, will be looking forward to tell you much more very soon. Uh, have a great uh, time, and again, uh, be bold and uh, be uh, curious about how technology used in a smart way can improve how we do medicine, how we learn, and how we teach medicine. Thank you very much.